This is the 16th year of the Energy Whiz Olympics, hosted by the Florida Solar Energy Center. The event started with the Junior Solar Sprint and has grown to include the Hydrogen Sprint, Energy Innovations, and Hands-On Hydrogen, which is the conclusion to the Middle School Science Bowl. Registration for all the events is the first order of business. Schools are checked in, cars are tested, weighed, and photographed. All cars entered into the Olympics are judged on their innovative design, quality of construction, and unique materials used. Also, their design process is considered through examination of their design journals. The Energy Innovations Competition challenges middle and high school students to build demonstration products or artistic works utilizing solar power. Developing their projects over the course of the school year, each team uses 85-watt solar panels donated by BP. In the afternoon, teams gather outside for the exciting head-to-head -head solar powered car races. Throughout the day, students work as their own pit crew, repairing and improving their cars after each race. We got second, we did all right. Many good cars, some tough competition. Came in second, oh, yeah. pulled through. Yeah, I think I did pretty good for my first year. The hydrogen sprint engages high school students in building fuel cell powered cars. The competition exposes students to new fuel cell technologies and demonstrates how hydrogen can be used for transportation. We would have had a better gear ratio because our cars didn't have enough torque in the wheels so it couldn't accelerate. Other than that, it was a pretty good experience. Hands-on hydrogen is another fuel cell car race. This involves the eight teams from last month's middle school science bowl. It's identical to the hydrogen sprint and prepares these students for the national fuel cell car competition in Colorado. We worked three and a half hours yesterday to get it done. We only got nine meters, and we need to go 20 meters. We made an adjustment. We finished first place. <laughs> On top of these events, a new competition is being tested, a solar-powered boat race for elementary students. The day concludes with an award ceremony where all the winning teams are recognized. To learn more about this and other educational events at the Florida Solar Energy Center, contact Susan Schleith at 321-638 1017 or via email at susan at fsec.ucf.edu.